pleased to bring you our feature presentation. made from a pig's butt, right? Mmm. I love pig butt. Yeah, mm. that's gross. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> Chase, your room. <sighs> what about it? Oh, forget it. Forget it. Have you brushed your teeth once this week? Yeah, I think. Well, then uh, brush them again, and this time use toothpaste. Jamie, remember to take the dinner out and make sure Kayla puts some clothes on. Okay. Kayla, honey, do not stay in your PJs all day. Okay. I'll be home at 6. Don't answer the door to anybody. Hello? No. Jeez, jeez. Marnie, if you guys go out, make sure you lock up and don't forget to put the machine on. I'm late. Mwah. I love you. Mom, is that never perfect? Oh, you kids. A C plus in math? Totally undeserved. 
A C in English. It's almost a C plus. A D in science. I thought you said that you were doing great in science. I was at first. Come on, Mom. When's the last time the periodic table came in handy for you? Never. Maybe that's why I'm a desk clerk and I'm wearing a dopey name tag. I'll come up next quarter, okay? Look, I just don't want you ending up in a who cares job like mine. I want you running that company, not working for it. I love you. Bye. I think mom's depressed. It's her birthday. Old people are always depressed on their birthday. Why do you think she's depressed? Wouldn't you be if it was your birthday on a Sunday and you had to wear a dopey name tag? In the meantime, she needs major cheering up. Hey, like a surprise party. We can invite the family and all mom's friends. For tonight? Excuse me, but some of us have lives. Well, I'm sure Eric can make it through one night without you. Can Daddy come? We'd have to find him first. It's kind of short notice for that, Kayla. In fact, it's kind of short notice for everyone. I can make it. Me too. Me too. It's a few phone calls and a trip to the mall. We can pull it off. <laughs> Kendrick Bragg. Hey, what's going on, Lionel? How you feeling? My number one client. Oh, your number one client, huh? Well, if I'm your number one, baby, I need a new manager. <laughs> just tell me you got some work for me. Well, it could be. It could be, you know? Let's just go inside. We can sit down. We can talk about this. How you feel? Oh, good. All good, right. good. Right. Hey, see. I'll be feeling better if you tell me it's a stadium tour. Stadium tour? Come on, Kenny. Now, you know, <laughs> you couldn't sell out those two seats in that automobile of yours. Gray leather? Real cozy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Built-in recliner. Yeah, yeah. Gone. I sold it. I had to pay the electric bill, baby. Mm, yeah, well, those people can be very harsh. You know, if you don't pay that bill, they cut off that power. They don't care what you're watching on TV. Well, you know, it don't make a difference anyway. Because in six months, I'll probably be living under a freeway. Ain't no way to plug it in, man. What are you talking about living under a freeway in six months, man? You pay cash for this house. Yeah, and for the last three years, I've been born against it. This... My car and everything else. Okay, now see, that is the kind of news that is very disturbing for me to hear. <laughs> what about your royalty checks? Royalty checks? Man, they don't cover anything but maybe food, phone bill, not much else. So tell me, what do you have for me? I got Rift Town. Rift Town? Same name as that dive on 21st and Lewis? Same place as that dive on 21st and Lewis. <laughs> Look at that. Nike and Nike Nixon need an opening act. It seems that Terry T3 misjudged a backflip and he, he bit off half his tongue. His set's gonna be a little short. Wait a minute. So now I'm opening for a guy with half a tongue. <laughs> it's a gig. It's a dive. Kenny, you don't have a place to sit. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's my car, baby. Hold on. Man, ease on the brakes. Ease on the brakes, baby. That's my Bentley. Oh, man, I just filled the tank up. Who is that? Oh, great. Repossessed. Tell him I do the gig. Y'all already booked, baby.
the plates, the candles. What's next? What about the squeezy stuff? To write mom's name. Got the squeezy stuff. What's next? A gift. We already bought her a gift. We bought her a coffee mug, Chase. No wonder she's depressed. We need something that'll raise her spirits. Something exciting and totally impractical. A pony? Rule number one, Kayla. If it needs a saddle, it's too big. How about a pig? If it's too big, we can chop off its butt and make bacon. You're such a riot. There's a watch at Macy's, a fossil. Mom looks at it every time we're shopping. How much? Like $60. Jeez, buddy old pal. Hey, have <laughs> fun. What are you doing in our mall, Tompkins? Bad enough you losers from Southeast have to go to our school. I've got 22 and that makes 50. Chase, what do you have? Chase? Where are you going to hide now, huh? Yeah, we heard you, Tompkins. We just don't care. I thought we were clear on that. What, are you going to cry now, Tompkins? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to go run to your mama? I don't think so, man. We're going to get you now, huh? Hey, Can I get your mommy, Chase? Chase? Oh, Can I get your mommy, huh? You want to cry about it, huh? Chase, Marty cut her arm open. It hurts really bad, see? Oh, oh so oh, gross. That. Come on, there must be a first aid station. Oh. We're clear. <laughs> Squeezy stuff. 101 uses. What's your problem? Nothing. I just love being rescued by my sisters. In fact, the last few moments of life have been really satisfying. Jeez, Chase, you're such a guy. Where's Kayla? She was right with us. I didn't see her. Kayla! Kayla! Yeah, yeah, I like this. Now I'm gonna have the rip towel popping with this. Yeah. Oh, hey, what do you think? I think Bumblebee. Bumblebee? Oh, it's a little bright, but ain't no. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> See if this one you call it a Bumblebee. <laughs> Now, with a jacket like this, I can see it now. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. You know this is too much money. $900. Oh, no, 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 no. $600. Oh, no, 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 no. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And when you do it, you just got to make sure you fix it later on. Lord, I swear when I'm back, I'll make up for this. Just give me a little break, please. What are you doing? Who, who, who said I was doing something? Hi. Hi. Do you need something down there or are you just passing through? Kayla! I'm here! Kayla! She's here. Kayla, why'd you walk away like that? You know that's not okay. Oh, jeez, we're really sorry. Hope she didn't bother you. Here, let's change your price tags. <laughs> you gotta love these little ones. I wasn't changing price tags. I was comparing prices. Comparing. Now, that's a big word, but you'll learn it when you're older. He was changing your price tags. Hey! You're him. You are, aren't you? Look, I'm just trying to buy a jacket without a crowd, okay? We're really sorry. We're leaving. Good. Well, don't bump your head on the way out. And stay in school. Yeah, stay in school. You're kicking back flash. Just go. Go, 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 go. Party your party there. That's his song. The CD I played so much. Remember you guys nuked it in the microwave? We party here. Party there. Rock the house like you just don't care. We party here. Party there. Everybody hands in the air. We party here. Party there! What? Can we go now? Chase? Flash, can I have your autograph? I'll take this. If you swear you'll never perform again, I mean, I saw your last performance. It needs a little work. All right, I swear. You got something for me to sign? I got something. Hold on, I'll help you out here.
There you go, my man. Wow, thanks, man. So what happened? Did you retire? I thought you died or something. Do I look dead? I mean, can a man take a couple of years off to travel around the world and replenish his creative juices? I guess so. So now that you're replenished, are you going to get back in the music business? As a matter of fact, little man, I am. I got a special appearance for one night only at the exclusive Rift Town. You mean that dive on 21st Street? It's a charity event for people with uh, tongue disabilities. Hey, call me a soft touch, but I just can't say no to helping people. It's just the kind of superstar I am, buddy. $69.95. I got that right here. She's a scary little thing, isn't she? Kids, I got some bad news. Your mom got laid off today. Kids, do you know what downsizing means? Do you know what no seniority means? Kids, everything's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. talking about work stuff. Go. Thanks. <laughs> so, you can think about it? There's no way my mom's gonna let me come over to your house. My parents out of town. <laughs> come on, what are we, little kids? Besides, who says she's gotta know, huh? See you in the morning. Listen, guys, since we're all together, something happened at work today that we need to talk about. I got fired. Mom, that's awful. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. In fact, it's actually a really good thing. Isn't loss of income traditionally a bad thing? Yes, but sometimes it pushes you to do something you wouldn't ordinarily do. Like go back to school. Oh, God. You're going to be in my class. College, Chase. I am short 12 credits to get my degree, and I'm going back to get it. You're going back to college? That's so cool. How are we gonna, you know, survive? Well, I've been crunching the numbers, and with what we have saved and the night job that I'm gonna have to get, I figure we have enough to squeak by for about the four months that it's gonna take. So we'll hardly see you. I can live with that. And there's one other thing. We may have to move to a less expensive place. We have to move? Well, it's just to cut down on our expenses. 
I don't want to move. This is our house. Grow up, Marnie. We rent month to month. The owners could kick us out any time they want. Well, sorry for not being as mature as you with a boyfriend who gives one of Aunt Simone's roses to Mom. He did not. He did, too. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he didn't. All right. Enough. Listen. I know this is going to be hard on us, but when this is over, I'm going to have a career, not just a job. So can we please stick together on this one? Doesn't matter. You're gonna do what you want anyway. She'll be okay, and I think it's a great idea. Where exactly is the admissions office? Uh-huh. And you guys will take a check? Great. Thanks. Sorry. We're gonna make it through this. I promise. Just don't be coming home with a D in science. <laughs> Mom, this is from Eric. Kayla's using the mail to color on again. They are not. Kayla, you know where the pads are. Use those to color on. Mom, where do you want this? Uh. <laughs> Death to the evil name tag. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> the woman's gone berserk. Well, here we are in the closet. Why are we in the closet? What, Kayla's drawing tushies again? It's an IRS notice. Dad owes $4,910 in back taxes, and Mom's got to pay it. After this, she's not going to have enough money left over to go back to school. Oh man, who's going to tell her? If we tell her, she won't do it. She'll just blow it off. Yeah, but if we don't tell her, we'll all die. We're not going to die. We just need a way to come up with the money. $5,000? If we could figure out a way to do that, wouldn't we do it over and over and be rich? Mom! Hi! 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 What are you doing? Who? You. Nothing? Talking! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we know anyone we could borrow from? I can't think of anybody with that kind of money lying around. Can you? Hey, I know who's got that kind of cash. There it is. That's him. King Ben Flash. You're just kidding, right? Why? The guy's loaded. He's not going to miss a measly five grand. Doesn't mean he's going to give it to us. He said he loves helping people. He can't say no. So the kind of superstar he is. It's a really stupid idea. Have you got a better one? No. Then Rift Town it is. Rift Town and step on it. Let's see now. Parents, maybe? Nope. Just us. Do you guys know what Rift Town is? Do you know where it is? Disney World? I've noticed you're not stepping on it. Is that meter going to go much higher? You guys do have money to pay for this, right? Everybody out! What are you doing? Shut those doors! You said to get out. I know what I said. You think I'm gonna leave four kids stranded? I'm taking you home. Wait! Sorry, nothing's coming. Wait! What if Janie cooks you like 10 meals? Excuse me? The money you've got saved on 10 meals has got to be equal to the fare, right? And Jamie's totally a great cook. Excuse me? 10 meals? 10 hot, mouth-watering, home-cooked meals. Total retail value. One round trip to Rift Town. Can you make lasagna? 
actually, it's her specialty. in no problem. Come on, just let me do the talking. <laughs> hey, Odie, you kids can't go in there. We need to talk to our dad. Who? He came in a couple of seconds ago from Newman's Heating and Cooling. We were waiting in the truck. The office just radioed. He needs to call in right away. He's in the back across from the restroom. Chicken wings, full of pants, and I think that'll do for now. Get the hell off my stool. Yes, sir. you guys want? Can you give us $5,000? <laughs> I know you said something with the words. They must have came out in the wrong order. Actually, no. See, our mom, she just got fired from her job, and she decided to go back to college. She's extremely close to getting her degree, and she figured how much money she'd need to do it. But the thing is, she doesn't know she actually owes these taxes, and she's $5,000 short. Tell me something. You can't see an ATM machine coming up my butt. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. That's what I thought. Boy. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you give me five G's and I'll go back to school? Guys, come on, you knew it was a long shot. Thanks for the ride, Melanie. Hey, don't forget, you guys owe me 10 dinners. Lasagna first. I have a confession to make. Jamie's a really lousy cook. Really lousy. Tough, a deal's a deal. Here, call me when you want me to come over. And listen, things will work out with your mom. Come on, Kayla. Any other great ideas? 
ideas. What's a repossession notice mean? It means that Kendrick's a total loser, and we still need $5,000. Better get some sleep, because we've got work to do. Two weeks of work and we have a grand total of one hundred and twelve dollars and six cents. No way this is gonna work. Nope. I can't believe Kayla out earned us. A commercial free rock block next up here on the new ninety one point two. Chuck King here reminding you that our jackpot jingle now topping forty two hundred dollars. That's right, four thousand two hundred smackers. Just be listening at midnight tonight to hear the new Jackpot Jingle. When we play that song tomorrow, call the station and win $4,200. But you'll only know what song to listen for tomorrow if you stay with us until midnight tonight. Now, here's a little something for all you night owls out there. Why did she do that? Listen. Jackpot Jingle standing now at $4,200. To the lucky new 91.2 listener who calls in between 8 and 4 today when they hear this song. So what? Duh. Dude, we listen to the radio today, and when they play this, we call the station and pocket 4000 bucks. Duh, and how are we supposed to do that? Ask the school office for an all-day radio pass? Duh! 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 This is not normal. Hi, gang. How is everybody? I've never seen anybody so happy about going to school before. Freezing turns a liquid into a solid when its temperature is lowered to a certain point. Now we all know that the freezing temperature of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But if we were working on the centigrade scale, hey, hey, <laughs> you're kidding, right? No, I like French. Oh, you do, do you? You know who joins those clubs? Total misfits with no social life. I'm not a misfit. Exactly. <laughs> you had me worried for a sec. Hey, try this one. The station rocks. Molecules in a frozen substance stay close together and move very little. Now, I hope that you are all taking very copious notes, ladies and gentlemen, because I can assure you this material will appear on your midterm. Call number nine! What? 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 She said, I'm gonna vomit! Five 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 zero zero nine eight.
fault. You stopped listening. Oh, look, if I did it, we would have won. I guess now we'll never know. Fine, good. Great. Hip Hop Amateur Contest. Winning act takes home a cool $5,000 cash. Wow. That's April 21st registration going on as we speak. $5,000 cash. Man! Amateur contest. Winning act takes home a cool $5,000 cash. You guys are going to sing? Actually, I was thinking maybe you would. Me? Uh-uh. Jamie, come on. You're the only one of us who can carry a tune. No, forget it. It's our only chance. Marnie, I'm not singing, so please don't ask me again, okay? Fine, then we'll do it without you. Me, you, and Kayla. I'll just do it alone. That's all. We're gonna enter a hip-hop contest. And win 5,000 bucks? Why not? Let's see. How about because we suck, we can't sing, and we have no act? Wait. Do you know who could help us? My car is on fire. Is this getting through to you? Giant flames, black smoke in my car sharing the exact same space. Bring it in? Man, are you hearing me? I've got backdraft in my driveway. I tell you what I want. I want my money back. I want a new ride. Don't you hang up on me. I come down. Hello? Hello? This better be the sweepstakes, man, with about 10 million for me. Hi. Remember us from the mall in Riftown? We really need your help, Flash. I assume you're aware your car is on fire? No, no, no. That's not my car. That is a loan vehicle. On loan from the shop where my Bentley is. That's purely a loan vehicle. You have a party. Let me just review here. The bell rings, I open the door to a bunch of white kids, the littlest one wants to use the potty, and the rest want me to help them with a, a hip-hop act? Is it just you living here? Because it's not a very efficient use for all the space. Do you have any peanut butter? Who are you people? Are you just going to start turning up everywhere? Because if you are, let me know and I'll buy some extra food. Hey, if you don't want to help them with their act, just say no thanks and we're out of here. No thanks. All right, we're out of here. Wait! What if we can deliver something you want back very, very badly? And what might that be? Your Bentley, which as it turns out isn't really at the shop after all. You're going to get back my Bentley? That's right. My Bentley? Your Bentley. You're going to get it back? That's right. You're going to get back my Bentley? Do we have a deal? Fine, we have a deal. Tell you what, you get back my Bentley, and I'll help you with your hip hop act. Fine, deal. Deal. Okay, I got some extra peanut butter in the pantry. You want some? Okay, come How are we gonna get back his car? Do you have any kind of plan? Of course I have a plan. Jeez. Remember Melanie? Good afternoon. Anthony Springer. May I be of service? How about a test drive? Darling, isn't it? Let me get the keys. You are looking at the talent, Doug, that put your label on the map five years ago, huh? Six gold records, three platinum albums, sold out concerts. He was the man. No one is arguing that point, but that was five years ago, Lionel. And with all due respect, Kendrick, tastes change. Your music is unfortunately not what today's kids want to hear. Can we discuss that? I mean, is that up for discussion? This is it. Fiasco. Are you sure?
sure he's here? He said so on his machine. This is a really stupid idea. I mean, you should have seen him at the Rift Town. I had him going crazy. As a matter of fact, it was almost right. Hey, now, now I can verify that, Douglas. Hey, I just thought of a great way to get on Kendrick's good side. Listen, our research tells us that his fan base is zero. Zero? Look, hey, look, Doug. No one appreciates the value of good research more than I do. But your research, man, by the very definition of its results, it's screwed up. For sure. Because I, I see my fans all the time. I mean, and I know they're the demographics that you're looking for. They're trendsetters, they're on the cutting edge of fashion, and they got hip-hop in their blood. Where? Where are the fans? Hey, huh? Show me the fans! Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Can we have your autograph? <laughs> they must have me mixed up with Sinbad or somebody. No way, dude, you're kicking back Flash. You are so cool. All my friends think so, too. Mine, too. Mine, too! I gotta make a phone call. Oh, it's Doug, oh, it's Doug, just wait a minute. A couple of Doug, come on, wait a minute, man. They were impressed, huh? Yeah, they were real impressed. Come here, do me a favor. Keep sticking this in my neck till I say stop. On the bright side, we've got your Bentley. <laughs> I don't see my Bentley. It's coming. Come on. How many casinos did you say your father owned? Two in Vegas, one in Atlantic City. And you can wrap a big red ribbon around this, right? Oh, absolutely. And I'll tie the bow myself. Great. Listen, when I say wave, just wave, okay? I'm out of here. Where's she going with my Bentley? Actually, Kendrick, until you hold up your end of the deal, it's our Bentley. All right, you can put your coats right over here. And let's hear it. Hit me with it. What about you? I don't sing. I do homework. Hey, how come I don't hear anything? What's going on? Here's a story of a lovely lady who was living with three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. Here's a story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. That's it? That's the best you can do? It's the only song we all know. Besides, happy birthday. Well, first of all, you're wasting my time. Second, where's my Bentley? Maybe we didn't make ourselves clear. No practice, no Bentley. We can make that car go away again very, very quickly. I thought you had homework. Does it have to be hip-hop? I mean, why can't it be something like a Barry Manilow song? Sorry. When is this contest? Six days. <laughs> Six days. Oh, thank goodness. Six days. That's more than enough time. Hey, you think Freeman would have signed me if those kids hadn't shown up? Not a chance, man. I tried to tell you that when I was arranging the meeting. I don't know why you won't put yourself through all that. Because I want my career back. I mean, people ask me, what am I doing? What am I supposed to say? Helping a bunch of kids win a hip-hop contest? I don't think so. Wait a minute, brother. That is what I do, more or less. That's what you do? How do you figure that's what you do? Well, you, you, <laughs> you think that you were a polished act when I signed you seven years ago? Oh, no, man. The, the, the first time that I saw your act, I had to excuse myself before I puked into my lovely assistant's lap. I thought that was a phone call. Uh-uh, brother. You're making me puke. <laughs> but, you know, I saw a light in you. And by the time I pried that out, we had kicking back flash. Now, maybe you could do something like that for those kids. 
So what are you saying? I should be a producer? <laughs> no, brother. That is not what I am saying at all. <laughs> You're not trained to be a producer. Trained? What's the train? You see something you like, you bring it in, put a few touches on it, polish it up, bam, it's done. Pow. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's you, the train? <laughs> you think it's that easy? May not be easy. But I know I can do it. Oh, I can do it. You can do this. You can do this. I can do this. You're damn right. right. I can do it. I tell you what you do. You train the Partridge family there to win this hip hop contest. I'll put you on my payroll. You serious about that? You want to make me a part of your company? All right, I'm going to hold you to that now. <laughs> you can hold me to anything you want to hold me to. Because from what you've seen, those kids are not singers. And from what I've seen, brother, <laughs> you're just not a producer. Oh, I'm not a producer? Uh -huh. You're wrong about that, line. And I'm going to show you. Okay. You show about that? I know about it. I'm not a producer. I'm not a producer. You show. You show. Okay. Well, we're going to see about that. Everybody, hands in the air. We party here. Party there. Rock the house like you just don't care. Party here. Party there. Everybody, hands in the air. We party here. Party there. Rock the house like you just don't care. Party here. Party there. Everybody, hands in the air. We party here. Party there. Maybe this one isn't quite the number for you, but I got a demo tape from a while back that just might be the ticket. We can do this. This is the bomb. Piece of cake. Okay, one, two, and three. We're Now that's a peanut butter and jelly. Yes. Extra yes. jelly. Yes. Peanut butter on top. Yes. And no crust. No. You want squares or triangles? Squares. Okay, you got it. Squares. I don't want to give you I some. I said triangles. You, you said squares. Got <laughs> squares. You told me squares. You come back here. You said squares. You told me squares. Now I gotta go in and just tip with you because squares and triangles are. Do whatever you want. Just please. Please don't hurt my kids. Mom, what are you talking about? Mom. This is Kendrick Bragg. He's a singer. He's helping us with a singing project. What singing project? For school. It's a project for school involving both our grades, and we decided that it should be on singing. Hence, him. <laughs> this is Kicking Back Flash. I used to have his poster on my wall. Used to? You took my poster now? They did. They microwaved it along with your CD. My friends. Oh God, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so, so really, so sorry. Hey, it's cool. No reason to think that a black man in your home isn't here to rob and kill your whole family. Pick us up from school tomorrow. I'm there. I'm really, really sorry, Mr. Bragg. Yeah. I know. Nice to meet you, Miss Tonkis. Here, I'll help you out. Man, that was totally embarrassing. What's with you white chicks? Tompkins. Just ask. And then give him the ball. fronting on you like that, little man? They're just my friends. They're your friends? 
knocking you down and clowning you like that? I said they're my friends, so just lay off. Yeah, okay. This car is so disgusting. It could be worse. You could be walking. All right, kids, you ready? Show me what you got. Chest pains. Look, why can't you enter a contest that's more suited for you? Like a contest for kids with no talent whatsoever. Look who's talking, Kendrick. When was the last time you had a video on MTV? When was the last time you had a CD for sale? <laughs> I got plenty of CDs for sale. Platinum CDs, okay? And you can get them all at the car wash with Jim Neighbor's greatest hits. Look, kids, let me talk to you, friend. Have a seat, have a seat. Listen, there's only so much that a man can do in a given situation. Let's say a man's a cook. Lady walks in the diner, she orders an egg. What kind of egg? A fried egg. But in the fridge, all he got is bologna. It's got to be bologna. It can't be something meatless? That's not the point. What kind of diner only has a pound of bologna in the refrigerator? That's not the point. The point is, the man may be a cook, but there's no way he can turn bologna into a fried egg. You do know that bologna is loaded with nitrates. It's got, like, no nutritional value whatsoever. <laughs> Listen, forget the diner. We have an egg, and we have bologna. Hip-hop is the egg, and you're bologna. And never shall the twain meet. I want on that twain once. So you're just giving up on us? Look, I know your kids are trying your best, and I got something riding on this too. But the ugly fact remains that not one of you can seem worth a... You've been holding out. I've been holding out. I just don't want to sing. With a voice like you've got, you don't want to sing? That's right. With a voice like that? That's right. You don't want to sing? I don't want to sing, all right? Okay, okay. You don't have to shout. I can hear you. No, I don't think you can. The fact is, you're the only one in the family who can sing, which makes you the only chance they've got. I'll pick you guys up later, and I want some energy. Some energy. <laughs> I know you're still here. I was thinking. Remember those guys you saw pushing me around today when you picked us up at school? Yeah, I remember. Your friends. They're not really my friends. They're more like... Your enemies? Yeah. They picking on you for any particular reason? They just think they're better than I am. Because their parents are loaded. Plus I beat all three of them in 10K bike race last summer. And they dissing you for that? Hmm. So what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do? I can't tell a teacher. It's not like I can keep them off me. There are three of them. Yeah, I count it. That's a tough one. So you want to know what I would do? Actually, I was kind of hoping that you'd be my bodyguard. What did you say? I'm sure it would only take one time if you brought, like, a machine gun. A machine gun? If you don't have one, a regular gun will probably work. <laughs> Look, Chase, 
It's no way I'm coming to your school with a weapon pretending to be your bodyguard. It's not happening. Fine, I didn't think you'd do it. See you later. Hey, Chase, see you later. Jamie, make sure Kayla's in bed on time and no goldfish in the bed. Okay. Hey, how you doing, Gail? Hey, Kendrick, hi. The kids and I are rehearsing tonight. Yeah, I know. Listen, I want to thank you for helping the kids out and giving them so much of your time. Nah, that's no problem. They're good kids. Especially at Marnie. She's a real pistol. She really, really likes you. It's good for them to have a male role model for a change. Say, let me ask you something. Why won't Jamie sing? Uh, a few years ago, she had the lead in her school play, Bye Bye Birdie. Bye Bye Birdie? I saw that movie. Dick Van Dyke is the man. When Jamie was in the middle of the soul, she forgot all her words. And you know how mean kids can get. She ran off stage, and that mm. was the last time she sang in public. Yeah, that's too bad, because she's got some talent. Some real talent. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for being there. No problem. Mm. Guys, Kendrick's here. Kendrick. And I got a surprise for okay. you. Come on, hey. One time. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Love Nation. This is where the contest is going to be. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> See, this is what the club kind of looks like. My manager knows the guy who owns this place. We're going to get you up on stage and see if you like it. You know, a little performance. See, nothing to be afraid of. Stage, little lights, little music, little smoke. Hey, go ahead, go ahead. See what you got. Hey, I want some energy now. All right. Listen, my parents left this morning for my cousin's wedding. Hey, they're gone. I got the house to myself for 10 days. Eric. Wait, wait, wait. You're not scared, are you? I didn't say that. <clears throat> Am I early? Because I didn't think I was early. Am I early? I'll talk about this later. What? It's raining outside. I can't be a nice guy and bring you an umbrella? And over here, you talking about something that you have no business talking about? None. Look, Jamie, just because that boy is home by himself doesn't mean that you have to keep him company. And that's all I'm saying. What was that, some sort of twisted parental advice? Look, I'm giving you advice because I think I know what kind of girl you are. And I know I know what kind of dude he is. So, Jamie, you just got to understand. I really understand. don't want to talk about Eric anymore, all right? Fine, fine. I'm done with Eric. I want to talk to you about you, about your voice, about this contest, and about you helping your family. I'm not singing. Okay. I can respect that. But the ugly fact remains that your brother and sisters have no talent, 
no ability, and no chance. And I guess they'll lose. You guess they'll lose? Just like that? Keeping your mom in school, helping her out so she can better herself, is something that you can just take or leave? Who do you think you are? Am I supposed to believe that you actually care? The only thing you care about is getting back your stupid car. And guess what? We don't even have it. You don't have my car? Melanie took it for a test drive, just so you'd think we have it, all right? So now you're free to never see us again. But don't you dare sit there and make believe you actually care about what happens to my family. What'd you do that for? Because the guy's a loser. He hasn't done a thing to help you guys, and on top of that, he thinks he can tell me what to do. Oh no, not that. He tried to tell you, a grown-up, what to do. Just forget it. What do you mean, just forget it? What are we gonna do about Mom? Guess we'll have to do something else then, won't we? You had no right to do this, Jamie. It's not like you've done anything to help us win either. No, 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 no. These are gold records. They used to belong to Kick It Back Flash. Go Flash, now what did he work? Original gold records from a major recording artist. Yeah. Forty dollars? Man, the frame is worth forty dollars. Forty-five? Oh, later. No, man, we were just playing. <laughs> Chase, were they playing or were they fronting on you? I thought they were fronting, but maybe I was wrong. You were. We were totally just screwing around. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. Fronting on my man Chase, that's the same as fronting on me. You feel me? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes, yes sir. sir. Let me tell you three something. If I hear that anybody is fronting on my man Chase, I'm coming after you. Even if you're not doing the fronting, I'm still coming after you. So you better make sure that nobody fronts on my man Chase. Let's not have any reason for dead bodies, okay? I guess I was wrong. Maybe he's not a loser. He hasn't been the same since he killed that prison guard. Y'all, oh, man, thanks. Hey, my well, I man, no problem. Anytime. I've been for that. Funny. Long time. Jamie said you were history. History? With all the things that we have to do? No way. I guess we better get to it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. The ear's not working here. We? Are you saying you're in? That's what I'm saying. All right, all right, let's go. We got him, baby. Okay, Jamie, you're singing lead. The rest of you guys sing back up. Like Gladys Knight and the Pips. Except you're the Pips. Come on, here we go. Come on. We're gonna get there one step at a time. I'll take your hand and you take mine. It's right in the day by day. Close and you're all the way, yeah. All right, remember, it's the three E's. Marnie, you bring the excitement. Chase, you bring the energy. Then, you bring the enthusiasm. Caleb, you're the glue, all right? Now, we just want to be light on our feet, smooth and light. Here we go. <sighs> Ha ha, good, 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 Marty. Keep them bouncing. Keep them bouncing. Keep them bouncing. Keep them bouncing. Get them bouncing. There you go. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got them. We got them, baby. Come on, Marty. Come on, Marty. That's it. That's it. All right. Good. Now I'm 
starting to feel it. Give me some. Great. All right. Uh, now let's see. I'm gonna need some costume. Something flashy, low outrageous. Go get your sweater on. Okay. Kids, hurry up. You're going to miss the bus. Morning, Mom. Hi, Mom. How's it hanging, Mama? Uh, I'm going to be pouring some Captain Crunch. Are there any takers? Me? Yo, I call the box. Excuse me. Um, are you my son? What are you still doing home, Mom? Well, as it turns out, this college thing is not going to be happening after all. Why not? We thought you wanted your degree. I did. I do. I just don't have enough money to make it work. But it's okay. It's not like I was at school long enough to really, you know, love it. Uh, the good news is, though, I found a few job openings. Mom, don't. Yeah, don't. Not yet. Why not? Why not? Because maybe we can help. Look, I know we're just kids, except for maybe Jamie, and of $5,000 is a lot of money to make up. How did you know I was short $5,000? Lucky guess? <sighs> Just don't do anything until tonight. Go to school, don't look for a job, and give us a chance. Tomorrow you can do whatever you have to. Okay? Why? What are you guys up to? Nothing lethal. We promise. Okay, I guess one more day won't matter. Great. Awesome. Eric. So, how's tonight's sound? Sound for what? My totally empty house, remember? Oh, yeah. I can't tonight. <laughs> I mean it. I'm singing this stupid contest. You don't trust me. Of course I trust you. Good, because I'm probably the only person you can trust. Couldn't count on your dad. Your mom, well, she still treats you like a child. And everybody else has a hidden agenda. I love you, Jamie. I guess I just can't make you feel the same way about me. For a second. Jamie, can I talk to you? Think she's getting fired? You're a moron. Jamie, you remember Lino, my manager? Hey, Jamie, nice to see Jamie. you again. You too. Kendrick thinks that you have a very special talent, Jamie, and uh, after watching you, I, I, I'm inclined to agree with him. Well, thanks. That's nice. Well, actually, Jamie, Lionel thinks you could have a career. He wants to represent you. Represent me? I told you I'd only do it this one time for the contest money. Contest money? Ah, that's jump change. I'm talking Atlantis Morissette money. Jamie, when you open your mouth, a very sweet gift comes out. Now, in a year's time, you could be singing for stadium crowds. 
I don't want to sing for stadium crowds. I told you I'd do it this one time, Kendrick. I trusted you. But I guess you had your own agenda after all. Um, she's coming back, right? Tonight's a big night, huh? Pretty excited? Can barely keep it together, huh? Would it be, like, really awful if I didn't go through with this? What are we talking about? Stage fright? Well, Kendrick and his manager think I've got this great voice or something. So why don't we make a zillion dollars singing in stadiums? Oh, well, there's just no excuse for that kind of behavior. You don't understand. I told him I only wanted to do it this one time for my mom. And that's why you want to blow off the contest? Uh-uh. Sorry, I sense a major holdback of information here. There's nothing. Except that Eric, my boyfriend, wants me to meet him at his house tonight. And his parents are away. Away for the evening? Away for ten days. So, are you asking me if it's okay to let your family down tonight, or if it's okay to go to Eric's house? I guess both. What would you do if you were me? Well, I'd think really long and hard about what was most important to me. And then I'd do what I could live with. Can you see that? 
Now listen, tonight is just as important to me as it is to you. Now did Jamie say when she might be going? Not to me. Not to me. Oh Lord. So. She did to me. dips on made too. Looks great. So here we are. Not a soul to bother us. I tell you right now, if that boy lays one knuckle on that girl, I'ma bust him in his jaw and hang his jawbone from my mirror. That Club Nation, things are so hot, you better get down here. What do you think I'm trying to do? Did your mom decorate it? Yeah, I guess so. Who cares? Hey, do you uh you wanna see how my room's decorated? You know what? I think there's a pistons game on. <laughs> Totally amazing onion dip. Chase Tompkins, right? Well, where's Kayla Tompkins? She's with her mom. At her table. Right up there. Where's Jamie Tompkins? Jamie Tompkins? Jamie Tompkins. Where's she? She is elsewhere. She's in the bathroom. Hurling. She always hurls before a performance. It's tradition. Date me, kiss me, come to my parents' house when they're not home, just so that you can say no. I think we're both adults here, okay? Neither of us are adults, Eric, and I said no! Jamie! Stupid. <laughs> Look, Jamie, about Lionel, I know you feel like I was pressuring you to do something that you didn't want to do. Weren't you? Yeah. I was, and I'm sorry. Just take me home, please. We're going. But understand, there's a big difference between being pressured to do something wrong i.e. Eric and me and being pressured to do something right i.e. your family 
And that's all I'm going to say about it.
away with $5,000 courtesy of the new 91.2. Like we've got, got a tie, tie here, here folks. folks. Sharing yeah. in the five thousand dollar first prize of AJ Jackson and Prussia. It worked for me. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. We, we didn't win? No, honey. We didn't win. But you were all so amazing. And I will never forget what you did for me. Thanks for trying, Kendrick. Guess you're glad to finally be rid of us, huh? I'll tell you this. We were robbed. Kendrick? <laughs> All right. Something wrong, Kendrick? No, nothing's wrong. I got this great life, sizzling career. What could be wrong? Well, first thing might be how you turned into some kind of a damn crybaby since the last time I talked to you. Oh, that's just great. Now, you calling me a loser, too, huh? Loser. Hey, hey, I would never call you a loser, man. Well, I'm nothing, man. And I've got nothing. Listen to me, Kendrick. Nobody, nobody stays on top forever. Not Ali, not the Beatles, not even the damn dinosaurs. Even if you never get back what you once had, man, be proud that you had it. You were a champion. You breathed rarefied air. How many people walking around this earth can say that? What about now? What am I supposed to do now? Now? Now you are going to become a producer. You're going to make your mark in a brand new field. But we lost. The, the deal, was, it was if we won. <laughs> hey, man, do I look like some kind of an idiot to you? You, you took a group of kids with, with precious little talent and you mined that into a very, very presentable act. <laughs> you think I'm going to let you off the hook because of some deal? Hey, we didn't even shake hands. I'm going to be a producer. <laughs> I'm going to be a producer. Thanks, man. All right. All right. All right. Not me. Hey, do yourself a favor, huh? Be smart. Be honest with yourself. You do what makes you happy. What makes me happy? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, what makes me Come happy? On. Come on. Oh, you know what I mean? I told you I was going to be a producer. Shoot that shoot. Uh -huh. Kayla, don't stay in your PJs all day, honey. Okay. Jimmy, remember to take the dinner out. Okay. Marnie, make sure that Kayla... Okay. Okay. Chase, teeth. I have major plans for my teeth. Mm-hmm. I'll see you guys tonight. I love you. Kendrick! Kendrick! Hey, how you doing, Gail? About time. Hey, kids, how you doing? Hey. You miss me? <laughs> yeah. Well, I noticed I didn't get any postcards or anything. What are you doing here? I came to give your mom something. That's called an envelope. And what you do is slide your finger on the inside and rip the top off. $5,000? Whoa, where'd you get that? Did I mention I'm in the record producing business now? 
Get out! No way! I could fake this easy. <laughs> this is an extremely generous offer, but I can't accept this. Well, the thing is, Gail, I felt good helping you and your kids. The best I've felt in a long time. So take it. Please. Sheesh. Mom, when he puts it like that. It's a loan, okay? I'm going to pay it back with interest. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm selling my house, cutting back on my expenses, and I'm living paycheck to paycheck like everyone else. Is it time for the traditional shredding of the name tag? Uh mm huh. -hmm. I call scissors. Wait for me. The what? I finally get to lose the blue blazer. So, Kendrick. How come you're moving out of your house? No reason, except I can't even keep it furnished. Furniture? We've got furniture. Sounds to me like all you need is a roommate. You know, or five. What? Huh? Mom, you did say you hate living in a cramped apartment. I know, but... And Kendrick, it's not like you use all of your rooms. I bet you've never even seen a few of them. I know, but I... Together, we can probably make it work. Kendra can even look after us when you have your night classes. You know, to make sure we don't get in trouble, robbing liquor stores and stuff like that. <laughs> now why would I want to do that? My business card says producer, not babysitter. Because <laughs> you're crazy about us. <clears throat> so Jamie, tell me the truth. How did you really feel up there with all those people eating out of your hands and going all berserk over you? Come on. Truth, it was kind of wild. Did I mention I'm in the record producing business? A couple hundred times. Don't you just love this? It's going to look so great above the fireplace. <laughs> you mean in the fireplace. I just do. Catch on fire. <laughs> That's how 
how we do. That's how we do. Kick it back, flash. We party here. Yeah. Oh, you can call me Kendrick, baby. Uh, uh, yeah, we party here. Oh, Mr. President.